And your Saint Sakura is named after what? You were named after? After the Virgin Mary of Perpetual Help. That's really what it is. Socorro. 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 And what's your name? Rodriguez? Rodriguez. And then you find you live up to your name? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> I'm not a virgin and I'm not married. <laughs> look better, feel better, um, help somebody, don't be selfish, <laughs> be generous even with yourself. You know, we are so, maybe we're good with other people and we're not so good, we're not kind to ourselves. And by me doing whatever I need to do to feel better, I think I'm being kind to myself. I'm 52 years old. I work in the healthcare business. I am an administrator. I have three children, uh, Tony, Gabby, and Christy. And I have two grandkids, uh, Dominic and Elijah. Wow, your grandma? I would have never guessed your grandma. Had you ever thought about plastic surgery? Yes, in fact, um, after I had my three children, I breastfed them all, and my breasts were very small. I think they were small. I felt that they were very small. And so I had a uh, breast augmentation. Uh, by, another by another surgeon many years ago, maybe at least 20 something years ago. Do you want me to tell you the whole story, yes. the truth? Yeah, why don't you tell me the whole truth? That's the whole point of this. Uh, my breast um, kept getting larger and larger, heavier and heavier. My back was hurting a lot all the time. I thought it was my breast, but I wasn't sure. Every year I have a mammogram and the mammograms show that uh, the implant was intact. But in fact, it wasn't intact. It wasn't intact. No, well. it was not intact. And it was leaking. And so, did you before you came to see Dr. Monaki to get them replaced? Were you starting to feel like the symptoms? Weird, symptoms? weird what tired. What kind of symptoms are those that you start? To I feel? felt tired, um, a little bit depressed. Um, um, my breasts were just growing in different <laughs> directions. Uh, one but was larger than the other. Oh really? Yeah, and so I really needed it. And then when I was in the operating room, I was so ecstatic. <laughs> I couldn't wait to have this done. Um, he also did a, he calls it a mini facelift, but to me it was a major <laughs> facelift <laughs> where he pulls the muscles underneath. So now people don't even know I had anything done in my face. And I am so thankful that I did it and that he did it because he did a very good job and my back doesn't hurt anymore. Um, I feel that he saved my life, really. Yes, he saved my life because um, I should have had a, 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 uh, the implant removed a long time ago and maybe replaced, but I didn't. So when he finally, uh, when he went in, in, into the breast tissue, it was all ruptured. He knows, he's not here just for the money. He really cares about patients and he, I felt like the most important thing in the world when I was speaking to him was me. I was the most important person in the world at that time. And I imagine maybe every patient feels the same way, I'm not sure, but that's the way I felt. Gary, thank you so much. Oh my God. You have no idea how thankful I am. You saved my life. <laughs> You might think you didn't, but I know you did. Gary, thank you. I I would never go to any other doctor. I I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart from being such a wonderful, <coughs> respectful, professional human being. I am very lucky. We are very lucky that God brought us, brought you into our family, that we are, you're not only my doctor, you're my friend. And I love you so much, Gary. Thank you so much. I will never have enough words to tell you how happy I am and how thankful I am for what you've done to me and the wonderful work you did with me. Thank you.